hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our php blog series so guys now we are going to learn about how to make a search box using data tables in php so we will be integrating a search box over here and the pagination also okay so guys first step let's go to the data tables website so i have just searched over here data tables and here is our data tables.net domain and here is an example guys so this is the cdn link css and js file and this is a simple code okay so guys now let's begin with integrating this first step so let's copy this and let's open in a new tab so here we get all the data table dot mint dot css file so let's copy this file name and create a file okay so let's go to admin and here we find css and inside this css we'll create a new file jquery dot data tables min dot css file and now let's copy all the code so control a copy and paste all set so we have done with the css now let's move on with the js file okay so there is some this is another one i think we got this from the admin dashboard i mean template part so let's delete this we don't require it so yep so now guys let's uh, get back and yep let's go to data tables and here you find the js file of data table so let me just paste that and paste here okay so this is our data table main.js file let's copy the url i mean file name and create that file name over here yep and let's paste the code so control a copy control c and paste it all set save and close guys so to run the jquery file you need a jquery cdn link okay so let's just search for that okay so here we find releases.jquery.com and here you can get the minified version so let's copy the cdn link link of it and let's paste here and see the code okay so let's create this copy and create the file all set so now let's copy the code copy and paste done guys so now we need to link this in a header part includes header and inside the header we have to link our data table okay so here is one simple data table let's remove uh, we don't need this so you just need to link the correct file just we have created okay so inside css folder forward slash your jquery dot data table dot min dot css file so let's paste here and it should be after your style.css so after your style.css let's paste this data table and now guys let's move to the footer part where it is here footer.php i mean we have to include that script okay and this is the data table so we don't require this instead of this you need to call your created file okay so let's go to js folder forward slash and then your file name and the second file which we have created over here jquery main file so let's copy that file name copy and paste here so this jquery live link will remove it and we'll just paste that all set so this is all about setting up your data tables okay so one one is css and one is js file setup so now guys uh, let's move to our category page i mean which page we have to link on this category view.php so let's move to category view.php and this is our table done and on this table we have to give the code so let's see the demo 
here you find this copy and get back to your script.php file and after your data tables let's paste that so script tag and paste the code and now guys this my table okay your my data table let's mention this copy it and it's in a hash so we have to call as id so let's go in the table and id is equal to double quotes and paste that id that's it so now guys uh, let's see the output for this save and make sure you have included your file so my script is included and a header also is included over here all set so yep and now let's refresh so here you see that we have successfully integrated our pagination search box okay so if you search for php php here you get php let's go for laravel so here it works so guys now uh, we want this table to be designed very nicely so you can just go to this data table and move on example over here and just move on the styling okay on the styling you can go below and here you find bootstrap 5 okay so let's click on that and just you can see the design so let's use this design so over here your javascript and css files is given so as you can see that we have already included this file this is your jquery cdn link but this is 3.5 but we are accepting with the 3.6 latest version and this is your data table min.js and this is the bootstrap one which is final so you just need to copy this copy and paste here so bootstrap file design let's copy this and create a file inside js let's create one new file with the name data table bootstrap 5 min.js let's copy the code and paste and let's close let's copy the file name and include in the script.php let's go and after this data table let's include that okay copy and paste let's add it all done let's remove this not required so we are directly having that file perfect so now guys uh, we have included the js and let's check with the css so we are done with the javascript part and now css over here you can see that the first link uh, is the normal bootstrap cdn link which we already have by default in the template and here you find that database bootstrap i mean data table bootstrap so let's copy that paste copy this file name and create a css file all set so you can just copy the code and paste here let's close this file copy the file name and paste in a header.php after your data table css copy cut and paste all done so now guys let's check the output over here so refresh so you can see that design has changed over here perfectly so guys same condition you are going to paste with the post also okay so view post if you want to you can just integrate that so it doesn't take much code just go to post view let's move to post view.php and you just need to add one id that's it id is equal to so what id you have given for your data table it's my data table okay paste that and refresh cool so you can see guys all data has been fetched correctly and here search bar works so so guys in this video that's it we have successfully learned how to integrate a search box and pagination using data tables okay 
So guys, thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like and share.